Hello everyone, this is Mr. Maris, and I'm pretty happy to start a new class with you. Today is 5th November 2024. As you can see in your screen, it is time to focus on a new dance. This dance is a very well-known one. It is present continuous, or better known as present progressive. During this class, we are going to learn about the form, the use, and meaning of this dance. For the better understanding, dear students, let's continue with the explanation. I want you to focus on the picture on your right side. As you can see, we have a young girl which is holding a few folders. This picture is showing in action. Something quite important about these tense is that we use that in order to express action that are happening at the time of speaking. In other words, we can describe this action by using our sense, such as sight, hearing, smelling. So we can use our sound to describe all the activities or action that are happening around us. In this case, we can use our eyes. Eyes equal sight. So we can see the picture so we can describe what this woman is doing right now. Now, focus on the example. He says, I am working in the library right now. With this sentence, it expresses that this person is doing her job. So we can describe him by using this tense. As you can see, we have a very well path to understand this tense. Let's move on to the next slide. Now, it is time to understand the structure or the form of this dance. Basically, we use the verb to be in present plus a verb and then we add the suffix ing. In this example, we can see it in a very well-known form, in positive. In the letter A it says, I am working in the library right now. I am working in the library right now. As I said before, it's expressed that this activity is happening at the time of speaking. In other words, I can see the action, so I can describe it. Let's continue. This is another example. The subject is different. As you can see, the subject is Lily. You see? Lily is working in the library right now. Lily is a different subject, so that means we need to change the bad to be accordingly the subject. In the letter A is I am. Obviously, right? Do not forget what you learned in the previous model. I am. But in the letter B is a little bit different. The subject is Lily. So the verb to be must be different. Lily is. Lily is working in the library right now. Both sentences, letter A and letter B, express the same action. But the subject is different. Let's move on. Letter C. As you can see, dear students, we have another subject. You. In this case, the verb to be must be different. Are. You are. You are working in the library right now. As you can see, the verb to be in the present is divided in three different words. M, 
is an R. So we have three different sentences expressing the same action with different subject. Let's read it again. Letter A. I am working in the library right now. B. Lily is working in the library right now. C. You are working in the library right now. As you can see, it says action is right now. In this case, we can see the action. Remember the John girl in the previous slide? Yeah, we can describe what this girl doing. So we can see her and we say she's working in the library right now. Another example is about me, Mr. Maurice. What am I doing? Yes, correct. I am speaking in English or I am talking to you. What are you doing? Yes, you are listening to me. So these three examples express that the action is happening all the time of the speaking. Let's continue. Something quite important in the present perfect or present continuous is the verb to be. So that is the reason is present. Present refers to the verb to be. Remember, the verb to be might be subdivided into these words. M, is, are. And also the suffix. The suffix I, M, G. Like working work working okay so these three sentences shows how the present perfect is formed okay so i want you to look at this picture we need to use the verb read that is the question what is the boy doing what is the boy doing? He is reading. This is present perfect because we can see the action. In this case, we see the picture. And he's a boy. And the boy seems to be in the classroom. I think the reading is quite good. He's pretty concentrated on it. So... What is the boy doing? Mm -hmm. He's reading. Let's move on. Now, look at this picture. Paint. What is the girl doing? What is the girl doing? Please, look at the picture. You tell me. Mm -hmm. Correct. She's painting. She's painting. By saying this, we are describing the action. She's painting. Good job. Let's continue. Now, look at this picture. Wow. It's another classroom, but this time we have children. And yes, there is a teacher. The teacher is playing with the little kids. So it is time to answer the question. What are the children doing? Correct. They are playing. Excellent. Good job. Look. Wow, this is a chubby guy. I think he's like eating. Look at his face. 
he's smiling. I think the food he's going to eat is his favorite. So, let's complete the exercise. But first, let's read a question. What is the boy doing? What is the boy doing? He is eating. He is eating. Good job. Again, please look at the picture. What is the girl doing? She's sitting. Yeah, she's sitting on a bench of the park. I think she's waiting for someone. Probably it's winter because she's wearing a coat. Good job, dear students. Okay, I think that's it. Everything for today. Tomorrow, we continue with the class. Do not forget, carry out all the activities. If you have any doubt, question, or why not, complaints, send a private message or send a message in our WhatsApp group. Still, you don't understand? Well, I will be in Julio Cartier Vargas home in the afternoon from 1.30 up to 6 o'clock. So you can meet me there if you have any questions. Thank you very much, dear students. I'll see you in the next class. Thank you.